event, anything and anyone causing a ripple in the community. And now, let's dive in to the Splash Live. Well, good morning and welcome to the Splash Live. Dave Scott back here in our Civic Center studios. Very good to be with you. On, <laughs> and again, another crazy day. We're, we just have the craziest of weather going on right here in our West Bloomfield area. We'll get to that in just a couple of minutes. Right now, though, let's get through our morning hellos. Good to be with you. You're watching part of 90 Minutes Live television right here on Civic Center TV. Starts out with the Splash Live and then continues on with the Megacast with Tyler Keefe this morning right after 10 o'clock. You can watch us across all of our outlets that include Civic Center TV, Channel 15 in the greater West Bloomfield area, Channel 99 on AT&T. You can watch us online at Civic Center tv.com we are streaming each and every day on facebook and also on youtube streaming live right now just look for civic center tv and then of course good morning and welcome to our radio audience um, listening to us this morning across the area on 89.3 fm of course lakes fm the big 89 so weather wise here in the area our, our weather forecast is uh, it it's really a, a bit of a mess here today and uh, we have a winter storm watch it is in effect until uh, well until late friday night kicks in friday afternoon heavy wet snow possible they say accumulations of five to eight inches could be the rule and possibly some uh, another light glaze of ice possible if you can believe it you can see we'll get up to 41 today 36 tomorrow and saturday up to 42 so that's the big picture but there's an awful lot going on here too much for me to try to outline for you joining us now is megan barcy she is a meteorologist with the national weather service and uh, i believe we have her online good morning megan good morning how are you very good. Thank you very much for joining us here this morning on The Splash. Um, so, Absolutely. Megan, oh, there you go. Now we can see you. How's it going this morning? It's going well. We're pretty busy here, but um, <laughs> yeah, I was going gonna, pretty well. I was going to say, you're, you're, you're awful happy and uh, jovial considering what we've been through. This has been a crazy weather pattern. I mean, we've had our ice storms. I remember that record ice storm we had back in 1976 because... I'm old, right? So uh, I remember these things, but I cannot remember a pattern like we've had with, uh, really, this is this could be the third ice event that we have had in just a couple of weeks. All right, so we've lost her connection. I tell you what, why don't we, let me see if we can get her back real quick if we can. Okay, good. So Megan, sorry this sometimes happens uh, when we are Zooming here. But, but we have a uh, lot going on here, so it could be our fault. No problem. But but three of these events, if tomorrow you know pans out the way we think it's going to pan out, three of these events in a row, quite remarkable. Yeah, absolutely. It's certainly been an active uh, week or so, especially given kind of a, a fairly quiet winter so far. Well, it really has. And uh, tell us what you know about this storm because we're all concerned it's again you know it's friday we got to travel around um now we see a new forecast that says maybe three four five inches or more here in the west bloomfield area and maybe ice so tell us what's going on and what you think could happen tomorrow yeah absolutely so i think you already mentioned we do have a winter storm watch in effect um so this event uh unlike the past few events we are looking at more of a heavy snow scenario versus the icing that we saw the past week or so. Um, so we are looking at, uh, you know, four to eight inches of heavy snow with this system. There's still some uncertainty with the exact track of the system. So we could see some adjustments either up or down, uh, kind of depending on the temperature profile of the atmosphere. But overall, um, worst conditions are likely to be tomorrow in the afternoon um, into the evening hours. So. Definitely could create some hazardous travel. It'll be a very heavy, wet snow. Uh, could see snowfall rates of up to, or even in excess of an inch per hour. Um, so certainly something to keep an eye on. And if you do have plans for tomorrow evening, maybe reconsider or definitely you know, leave extra time to travel. 
So as I take a look at the uh, power map, and we're going to look at that on, on screen here before the show's over today and talk about that, we have all of these lines that must be stressed. And I know DTE is still out there working hard to, to, to repair the lines that, that, uh, that were a problem. But these lines have been stressed by lots of wind, by ice, and, and now by some heavy snow. So it's entirely possible we, we could have another big round of, uh, unfortunately, of power outages again. Yeah, with, with the heavy wet snow, we're also expecting um, some pretty strong winds. We could see east northeasterly gusts, uh, 35 to 40 miles per hour. Um, so that's definitely something we should be prepared for um, in your community. Um, you know, it's, it's not a done deal, but um, it's definitely time to prepare for that. One of the good things is that temperatures this weekend should be up into uh, the 40s. So if you do lose power, um, we're not looking at an Arctic blast or anything um, coming in after this snow. So that's a bit of a saving grace, but um, yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. Well, I really feel for those line workers that are out there. They've been working so hard. We, we all see as we're driving around all the trucks, our local local people, men and women out working on the lines, and then people from all over the United States are here trying to help us out. Now, how important is where the temperature actually falls exactly where we live uh, with this event? And will there be possibly a band of ice uh, wherever that temperature line happens to hit right around freezing? Yeah, it's, it's very important um, where the temperature is, not just at the surface, but in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Um, so if you have warmer air in the upper levels, that can cause more of a freezing rain scenario. Luckily, with this event, um, we are looking at more of a rain versus snow precipitation type scenario. There is some potential for a brief period of freezing rain, but accumulations would be a few hundredths of an inch versus you know the quarter inch of ice that we got um, these past uh, few weeks. So um, freezing rain isn't so much of a concern with this event. Certainly could see a brief window, but um, yeah, it's it's mostly going to be a, a snow versus rain. All right. Well, we're, we're just, you know, we're, 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 we're on our toes here because of what, Definitely. what we've been through the last, you know, couple of days and, and you get an ice event and, and thank you for mentioning that, that ice that we had. And I think the worst of it was last Wednesday night, the ice that we had as it cooled off, um, on that freezing rain day, you're saying it was about a quarter of an inch. Is that about what we got in most of our area? Yeah, so in, in Oakland County, it was a quarter of an inch, a little bit higher. Further south, Ann Arbor, uh, Wayne County area, they got closer to half an inch. Um, so that's definitely where we start to see those impacts when we start, you know, considering a, a ice storm warning. Again, this event is, um, is not looking like it'll be uh, predominantly ice. So that's that's the good news in, in this scenario. All right. Well, we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed, but uh, we definitely want to keep a close eye on it. And yes, I was in Washington County yesterday and they did get hit a lot harder than we did. So this this could have been a lot worse for people right here in West Bloomfield. But anytime anything happens in our area, obviously, we all travel across the area and, and it impacts all of us. So do you expect um, the way this is going that we will end up at some point you'll be issuing a um, winter storm warning as we get um, closer into this event? Yeah, it's certainly possible. Um, we are continuing to look at the data. There's still, again, that concern about where the freezing line sets up. So that would determine where there's going to be more snow versus rain. So that's something we're heavily weighing into our consideration. Um, so we have, you know, some time before we, we have to make those decisions. But um, yeah, you know, for now, we're under the winter storm watch and uh, expect updates in, you know, the coming 12 to 24 hours. All right, Megan. Well, thank you very much. Megan Varsi checking in from the National Weather Service office in White Lake. We're so lucky that we have you guys uh, just north of our lakes area here, right in our own backyard. And the radar that services all of uh, southeastern Michigan is literally just, you know, a couple of miles north of West Bloomfield. So having all of you guys there working so hard right in our backyard uh, is greatly appreciated. And we love the information we get. And you guys are always so kind to check in on the show. Thanks again for coming with us this morning. Good luck out there, all right? Yeah, you guys too. Stay safe. Appreciate Th it.
Thank you very much. From the National Weather Service, Megan Varsi checking in from White, the White Lake office. They're so cool there. Every time we give them a call, they are, they are here. They're ready to give us a helping hand, all right? So we have a lot of other things lined up on the show today. We're going to run through some of the many events we have coming up. Uh, the big one um, we're going to spend a little more time talking about today, uh, of course, is our state of the communities. It's a little over a week away. We're hoping for really good weather. I'll bring up to speed on that. There's some great theater going on this weekend right here in West Bloomfield. And, uh, and then we're going to do something a little bit silly, I think, if it all comes together and uh, do our greatest job to uh, make our greatest effort to do a uh, to do a tribute to the, the line workers that have been out there making the power, uh, keeping the power on, even if it's a little bit embarrassing for the host of the show. So that and a whole lot more coming up. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is the Splash Live. We'll be back in just a minute with more. I'm Dave Scott. Back after this. We'll be right back with the Splash Live. Like what you see? Beautiful works of art, masterworks of metal, and accomplishments of artistry will be on display near you. All kinds of artists from all walks of life come together to celebrate their skill and appreciate their work's beauty. Hot Works presents the 2023 Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. Stop by July 29th and 30th between 2 and 10 p.m. between Powers and Daily off of Orchard Lake Road. I'm Steve Eisenman of the Detroit Red Wings, and I think every child in Michigan deserves a safe, healthy, and happy childhood. Can we build a state where children trust Michigan isn't just a name, but something our kids believe? Please support Children Trust Michigan as the voice for children and families by visiting the website to learn more. And now, back to the Splash, live! Well, good morning and welcome back to the Splash Live. Dave Scott here in our Civic Center studios. Again, weather to be concerned about. Uh, so we'll have a, a continued update on that on our civiccentertv.com ice page that we put in the last couple of days just to get you through all the storm activity. You can go to civiccenter.com slash ice for all of the information. Jared, it sounds like you've got my echo in there. Just want to let you know that you might want to get rid of that. So uh, the Nicely Theater Group, um, and that is out at the Berman Theater, presents The Drowsy Chaperone, a musical comedy that pokes fun at musical comedies and features a tipsy chaperone, a flighty bride, gangsters, and a monkey. <laughs> it sounds crazy. It's all going on at the Berman Center for Performing Arts at 6600 West Maple Road, West Bloomfield Township. It's the Drowsy Chaperone, a light and breezy show. Hopefully you'll like it. There's the web page. A lot of fun. Um, we invite you to get out there at Berman Theater this weekend. Um, you're going to want to give them a call if you want to get tickets. Telephone number is 248 406 Six six seven seven, and you can see the troop there uh, getting ready for the show. And uh, with a little promo video, it's on the website nicelytheatergroup.org, and the telephone number again two four eight four zero six 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 seven seven. I tell you what, we got a little audio problem here. We're going to take a, a quick break, see if we can fix that, and uh, we'll be right back. It won't be long. Back in just a moment, right here on Civic Center TV. We'll be right back with the Splash Live. Watch Civic Center TV with our brand new live captions. To turn on live captions, go to civiccentertv.com and click Watch Live. In your web browser, click on the Options tab in the top right and find the Accessibilities tab. Then just switch on live captions to heighten your enjoyment of our local programming. Thank you so much for watching Civic Center TV. And now, back to the Splash, live! 
Welcome back, Splash Flat. Hey, sorry about that. You should see all the knobs that Jared Clark, our producer, has in front of him this morning. He's doing a great job over there, an awful lot to make all of this happen, get all of our studios connected, and get the show to you on all of our outlets. Tyler Keefe, standing by. He'll be in here at 10 o'clock um, in Studio B with the Splash. The West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce Health and Wellness event is uh, going on. It's great. It's a wonderful event. 14th Annual Health and Wellness event at the West Bloomfield Township offices June 14th um, from 11 until 2 o'clock. 40 businesses will be, uh, be at Town Hall and organizations involved in health and wellness of our community will offer information, promotional items, and personnel to answer all kinds of medical questions that you might have. And you'll get answers directly from the medical professionals, from uh, senior specialists, mental health experts, and a whole lot more. Now, there's still room if you or your business would like to participate in the event. And uh, if you're an expert, you've got some something you want to share with the community, a lot of uh, additional information about uh, the medical industry or what you do and how you help people, get a hold of our good friend Suzanne Levine at the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber. She puts on this event every year, and there is still room for you. Telephone number is 248-626-3636. So uh, it's right around the corner. It's a state of communities, the state of the communities, where we get the leaders together from West Bloomfield, Orchard Lake, Kegel Harbor, and uh, in Sylvan Lake. And it's all happening, of course, during Sunshine Week when um, nationally news organizations do all they can to encourage our local elected officials and our, all of our elected officials, national, local, um, statewide, to um, engage in um, open government to the greatest extent possible. So it's a really good time for us to do our State of the Community. State of the Communities is very much like um, the State of the Union address. It's just like the State of the County. We get our leading elected officials all together, and that includes Rob Kelman. He is the mayor of the city of Kego Harbor. Norm Finkelstein will be joining us. He is the mayor of the city of Orchard Lake Village. Jim Cowper, the mayor of the city of Sylvan Lake. And Steve Kaplan, our supervisor of the Charter Township of West Bloomfield. They will all be here. And, uh, and, and of course, we're going to be talking to the superintendent of the West Bloomfield Schools, Dr. Danya Bazzi. And uh, she's going to be talking about, of course, um, the bond issue. There are many other uh, activities and, and things going on in our communities, lots of other initiatives. For example, the construction project going on in uh, the uh, city hall in the village of Orchard Lake. So um, a lot of things like that all going on. We're going to talk about it on Monday. Now, we would love it if you joined us in person at the West Bloomfield Middle School. It's going to kick off at 7 o'clock, and this is a week from Monday, Monday the 13th. I think that's a lucky day. If it's on Friday, not so lucky. On Monday, no problem. It's Monday the 13th at the West Bloomfield Middle School. It all kicks off at 7. You're invited to get there a little bit earlier, and, uh, and, and then you'll have an opportunity to um, see the presentation, hear what's going on in all of our communities, mingle and get together with all the elected officials from all of our communities, and uh, should be a lot of fun and very informative, and I hope a uh, evening that you find will be um, an investment of your time that is worthwhile. So mark it down again, Monday the 13th, and it is our State of the Communities, an annual event we do here on Civic Center TV. Now, we really hope that you come and join us in person. But if by chance you cannot make it, we'll have it all live on Civic Center TV. We'll be streaming it on all of our outlets. And then again, we'll have an opportunity for you to listen on the radio, watch it on the web, and uh, tune in everywhere. State of the Communities, coming up the 13th on Monday, a week from Monday. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, it's going to be a little silly. We'll do our, the very best that we can, but we've got something lined up for you today. And uh, it's a tribute to all of those 
that have been working so hard the last week or so and uh, doing everything they can to keep your power on, to keep your lights on, to keep your heat on. The, those line workers that are out there have been doing an amazing job. We've got a tribute for them and an update. Uh, we'll take a look at the map, uh, the power map, before we get into that uh, when we return. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back. Good morning. You're watching The Splash right here on Civic Center TV. Back with more after this. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. When the temperatures are chilly, being together warms the soul. <laughs> Keep the winter fun going. Help protect yourself and those around you by keeping your COVID-19 vaccines up to date. What's happening around you? Hear about state events, businesses, and from the people behind them on The Megacast, an hour-long TV, radio, and streaming show keeping you informed on the day-to-day -day news. Listen in on talks with volunteer groups, documentarians, and financial advisors, Monday to Friday with your host, Tyler Keeft. Catch The Megacast weekdays from 10 a.m. to 11 on Civic Center TV, 89.3 Lakes FM, and streaming on MyMyTV.com. And now, back to the splash, live. All right, good morning. Welcome back. Dave Scott here on Civic Center TV, about to embarrass myself. But uh, before I do, let's take a look at the uh, outage map from DTE. And there, as you can see, across Metro Detroit, there are still a number of people that are without power. In Waterford Township here, you can see there's an area there with 162 people without power. Um, in, uh, in other areas of Oakland County, lots of places with over 1,000 people without power. Areas up north of Waterford with some areas there with hundreds of people without power. We'll zoom in. I've not looked at our West Bloomfield map here in the last day or so, but you could see that we still have plenty of areas with uh, some very small isolated uh, power outages. And if you're at the end of a line and you, <laughs> you don't have your power, uh, it doesn't matter if you're only one person on the street without power, or it's like you're down here in Bloomfield Township where there's 186 people or here up north of Kegel Harbor where there's 25. It doesn't really matter how, how many people there are. If that's you, that is a bummer. But I want to let you know the linemen are doing everything they can here to, uh, to make this thing better. And uh, in light of that, we're going to take a swing at this, see how this goes. In light of that, um, I wrote a little song. And it is a parody of the old Glenn Campbell song, Wichita Lineman. Let's see how this goes. We're going to do this live. This is not going to be pretty. I really don't sing. But, <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to thank the DTE guys. So um, here we go. Have a little fun. We'll see how it all rolls. Ready? You can roll it. All right. All right. Very good. Let's get to that B-roll, Jerry. All right. Here we go. I am a lineman in Oakland County Driving down Maple Road Fixing stuff the weather made explode I didn't say my singing was going to be good Now your lights are bright and shining All across our great zip code and the DTE linemen, they're coming right down your road. That was really a high note. It's gonna hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need a small vacation after all this freezing rain. But the snow and wind and ice are forecast once again. Oh, darn, those lights just started blinking. Once again, no heat, that's such a pain. But the DTE 
lineman is still on the line. Again, that is a hard note to hit. <laughs> I don't know if the singing is really helping out the guys at DTE, but I just want to say thank you. You can see them on your screen. They're working hard. They've been out there cutting on those trees, climbing up on the poles, working 14, 15, 16, 17 hour days. Absolutely amazing. I need power more than ever. Because I got to get on line. Gotta check out that Civic Center site, get info. So to the DTE linemen, West Bloomfield thanks you for your time. Hey, thank you for your time. Even if we can't hit the notes, we thank you very much for all you're doing. We really appreciate it. That is hard work. And without you guys out there, we would be in a bigger mess than we are. So. Big thank you to all of, the, all of the guys in the road crews that are out there all across our West Bloomfield area and especially all across Metro Detroit and across Ann Arbor. So um, thank you for allowing me to sing here on TV. Sorry, I'm certainly not a vocalist, but again, I, I just wanted to thank those guys. It's, it's so amazing. And, you know, we just kind of harken back to that storm that we had in 1976 where we got the kind of ice that they've been getting in Ann Arbor um, the past week or so and really quite a mess and while they're trying to take care of our issues right here in our local area um, it, it's even harder because uh, we've got all of Michigan that has been hit so hard this storm just really clobbered everybody so once again just a reminder before we say so long that uh, we we do have a winter weather watch in effect for the area and as you heard from megan from the national weather service just a couple of minutes ago um, we're not exactly sure how it's going to hit us just depends on how all the temperatures are but they say maybe four five six inches possible maybe um, more of a rain event um, but it's likely we're going to get a bunch of snow, and it's most likely that this snow is going to hit tomorrow afternoon. So hopefully you'll be able to get off to work, but uh, do leave yourself some time on the way home. And uh, tomorrow, again on Friday, might be another opportunity for you to, to want to head home just a little bit early and to get yourself out of the weather. So keep an eye on all that. Um, we invite you to keep an eye on our assets as we run through this weather event. And again, you can go to civiccentertv.com slash ice. civiccentertv.com slash ice. We'll have the updated information that we get from the National Weather Service. We'll have the DTE outage map there available for you. Um, and then a lot of other tips should you lose your power and you need to run a generator or some other assets, all the information from DTE will be there to give you all the resources that you need. So here's the easy way to get off to that web page. All you got to do is scan your QR code that's right in the screen right now. It'll take you to civiccentertv.com slash ice and uh, we will have all the information. And as we get into this weather tomorrow afternoon, if you really don't have to be anywhere, it would be just awesome if you could just hang around the house or get home earlier. I know Greg Flynn in the police department and Chief Patton over, or in the fire department and Chief Patton over in the police department would appreciate it if you are off the roads as the weather gets bad. So uh, I promise I'll never sing on TV again. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great day. Tyler Keefe will be here just after the uh, top of the hour and we'll have more with, uh, with the Megacast. Have a great, safe day. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning right here on Civic Center TV.